had a lovely start to the day, for many of us that is, we had a good deal of sunshine. But the shower clouds have been building up now and we're seeing quite a few storms developing. In fact, this is the view outside in London at the moment. You can see a rather threatening looking storm cloud there on the horizon with spots of rain already on the camera lens. Now we can see how those showers and thunderstorms have been lining up across the southern counties of England through the last few hours, beginning to develop a little bit further northwards now into Wales, through the Midlands, and I should think places like Lincolnshire and East Anglia will become quite a focus into this afternoon. But if you're right on the coast itself, right on the south coast that is, you'll probably miss the showers and thunderstorms here and get away with a fine afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Another place that might well miss most of the uh, wet weather is probably across the far north of England. A fair bit of sunshine here for this afternoon. There will be a few showers creeping up into the likes of Lancashire and Yorkshire and we'll probably see uh, one or two showers or thunderstorms set off across the southern uplands of Scotland too. Although uh, many parts of southern Scotland brighter now compared to this morning where we did have some cloud and rain around. That wetter weather is now setting in across the northeast of Scotland, so rather grey and murky here for the rest of the afternoon. Temperatures probably suffering a little in Aberdeen at around about 11 degrees. But further south, where we get the sunshine in between those showers, it'll feel quite pleasant at around 15 or 16. Now, as we go through this evening and tonight, I think the showers will be uh, gradually fading away. So it's looking like a dry affair for the big game as Chelsea take on Liverpool at Stamford Bridge later. But we will see some changes later on in the night. In fact, some wet and windy weather is on its way towards us. It's going to be coming in from the southwest. A really deep area of low pressure is going to be spreading its way in from the near Atlantic, bringing with it some wind and some rain, gale force winds, in fact, developing across the uh, Irish Sea later. As you can see, I seem to have a little bit of a problem on the graphics here. We seem to uh, have a little failure in the uh, graphic system. But let me tell you, we are going to have uh, some wind and rain on its way across many western parts as we go through tonight, as I said, gales through the Irish Sea. So it looks like tomorrow is actually going to be quite a different day for many of us. There will be some heavy rain around across the north and the west of the UK to start the day, and then that will gradually move its way northwards into the afternoon. So things should tend to brighten up a little, and I'm hopeful that Friday will actually be a drier day for many of us. And as we head towards the bank holiday weekend, it does look like temperatures are going to be slowly creeping up. We could even see uh, temperatures into the low 20s by Sunday, but there'll be more of that, of course, over the next couple of days. Down